impact is going to be uh, further north, and it is going to bring more direct impacts into counties like Leon, Jefferson, and Wakala County if uh, it, it continues on that. Now, these things can move over the next uh, 24 hours, uh, but it's, um, it seems like most of these models are at agreement about the general area. So, so it's definitely going to hit the Big Bend. Uh, everywhere in the Big Bend is going to get storm surge, is going to see major, major impact, whether the eye wall is hitting you or not. Uh, so please prepare for that. Uh, it is going to be a significant, significant impact uh, to that region of Florida. Now, if you are in an evacuation zone and you've been directed to evacuate, particularly if you're in a low-lying area or coastal area uh, in that Big Bend region, now's the time to do it. Uh, you, you still have a little bit more time. Uh, if you wait much longer, by the time we get in further into tonight, the weather's going to start getting nastier and nastier, and we're looking at a, a, an impact uh, of the, the eye wall arriving sometime tomorrow morning. So you really got to go now. Now's the time. Uh, if you don't, uh, if you stay hunkered down tonight, it's going to be too nasty tomorrow morning to be able to do it. Now, if you do choose to stay uh, in one of the evacuation zones, first responders will not be able to get you until after the storm has passed. That's right. They're not going to be able to get there till after the storm has passed. So please make decisions that are best for you and for your family. And remember, you don't need to travel hundreds of miles away. You don't need to outrun the storm. Simply getting to higher ground in a shelter with friend's house, hotels, uh, any of that will work. A lot of times you can do that within your own county, but you certainly are thinking more about traveling tens of miles rather than needing to do hundreds of miles. The National Hurricane Center advisory includes that if this storm hits at high tide, storm surge could reach 10 to 15 feet in some areas of the Big Bend. That is life-threatening storm surge. That is storm surge that, that if you're there while that hits, uh, it's going to be very difficult to survive that. So please take appropriate precautions. Uh, we do have counties, uh, a total of 28 counties have now issued some form of evacuation orders, including more recently Alachua, Hamilton, Leon, Nassau, Putnam, and Sumter. Know, know your zone on that. Uh, typically, these are going to be zones A. Some will be zone A and B. And if it's, you're in an area, certainly the coastal areas, barrier islands, and then if you're in areas that are low-lying or near some of the rivers, uh, you likely would be uh, advised to, to, to be evacuating at this time. We are already seeing impacts in southwest Florida. Uh, we're seeing storm surge. I mean, the, the eye of this storm is probably 100 miles or more off the coast of southwest Florida, and yet those outer bands are already showing uh, significant impacts. So you're going to see impacts all up and down uh, the west coast of Florida as the night goes on and as we get in uh, to the wee hours of tomorrow morning. We have been working with folks for the evacuations. So the tolls have been suspended in Citrus, Hernando, Hillsborough, Lake, Pasco, Pinellas, and Sumter County. That started at 4 a.m. this morning. That will continue until this event is concluded. Uh, we've also worked with the Florida Restaurant and Lodging Association to make sure that all hotels will allow you to bring your pets. Don't leave your pets behind. You got to take them with them, take them with you. And these hotels are going to be understanding of that. All the counties have at least one pet-friendly shelter as well. So please take care of your pets. Very, very important. They need you uh, in this type of circumstance. Uber has also announced that they will be offering free round-trip rides to and from evacuation shelters with a value up to $35. You can use the code IDALIA Relief to be able to claim that. So we want to thank Uber for stepping up and helping. We have all eight urban search and rescue teams with almost 600 personnel ready to deploy to, de to help with search and rescue efforts. Hopefully that's not necessary. Hopefully everyone heeded the warnings and hopefully nobody ends up in harm's way when the storm hits. But uh, we know that that's uh, likely to, to be uh, a necessity to have some rescues. So these folks are ready to go. They're located up and down the state and they are going to go where they are needed, and we really appreciate having them. Uh, we also have additional uh, search and rescue personnel that are going to be augmenting the USAR teams. We've been working with counties to make sure they have the resources they need to deploy. Uh, we've received 400 active missions that we are, are coordinating. We've either fulfilled or will have those fulfilled today. 
and be ready to go uh, when the storm hits tomorrow. Uh, we have 1.1 million gallons of fuel that's staged and ready to deploy. We don't know what the fuel situation is going to be like. Sometimes it could be bad, sometimes not as much. Uh, this will be able to fill gaps if those gaps exist. There are over 50 shelters throughout the state that are open. And every county that has any type of evacuation notice does then open at least one shelter for people to go to. Our Florida uh, Highway Safety Motor Vehicle has five Florida licensing on wheel mobiles and six mini mobiles ready to deploy to impacted areas to help residents replace important documents such as driver's license. Hopefully that's not going to be necessary, but if you end up in that situation, we want to have folks that are going to be able to help you out with that. We've deployed almost 250 Starlink internet devices. We have another 500 plus staged and ready to go, and we'll likely be putting those into place uh, soon after the storm passes by. Uh, many school districts have announced school closures for uh, today and for tomorrow. Uh, so please just check with your, your county. But if you're in the path of this storm, uh, it's pretty pretty good bet that the schools are not going to be open uh, tomorrow. We also have 18 state colleges and six universities that are not having school tomorrow as well. As the winds become stronger today and into the night, Florida Department of Transportation will be coordinating with FHP and local law enforcement to close bridges once wind speeds reach 40 miles an hour or more. So just keep in mind with that, with any plans that you have, once the wind gets to a certain uh, point, those bridges are not going to be safe to traverse, and Florida Highway Patrol will work with local officials uh, to make sure that people are kept safe. Uh, we have been in contact with many states that have offered their assistance, and we're grateful for their efforts. We've already have National Guardsmen from both Tennessee and South Carolina. I want to thank them for stepping up and, and helping us out. We also have called up 33 ambulance strike teams with over 200 ambulances that are ready to surge in any of the impacted areas. So this is uh, crunch time right now. Uh, we're going to get hit with a major hurricane. It'll be sometime the, the eye will arrive on shore sometime uh, tomorrow morning, most likely. And it is going to have major impacts, particularly along Florida's Big Bend region. Uh, so listen to your local officials. Take the appropriate precautions to protect you and your family. And once the storm passes, uh, we will have help that will be on the way in the form of power restoration. We were able to go to Wildwood in Central Florida to meet with all the Duke Energy personnel that have been pre-staged there to help with Duke Energy and their power restoration efforts. We've got uh, close to 30,000 people that are in the state of Florida staged for power restoration efforts. So that's going to be a priority to be able to get the power back on for folks. Obviously, search and rescue to the extent that's needed. Those guys are going to be ready to go. And Kevin and his team have a lot of staging of food, uh, uh, water, the things that, that people need when, when normal services are interrupted. So uh, everybody hang in there. This is going to be something that will, uh, that will leave significant impacts and particularly in this part of the state, you really got to go back to the late 1800s to find a storm of this magnitude uh, that will enter uh, where this one looks like it's going to enter tomorrow. So uh, we don't really have a historical analog in anybody's memory. So it's likely to, to cause a lot of damage. And uh, that's just the reality. So be prepared for that. Be prepared to lose power. Uh, and just know that there's a lot of folks that are going to be there uh, to help you get back on your feet.